Let's talk more about what will get travelers back on the Boeing 737 MAX. Gordon Bethune, former CEO of Continental Airlines and a CNBC contributor, joins us now. Good morning, Gordon. Morning, Melissa. We were talking earlier uh, that not too many people look at that card in, in the front pocket of the uh, airplane seat to look at the kind of, of aircraft it is, but maybe this time around they will. Do you think that will be the case? Maybe some. I'm, I think we understand a whole lot more than the average person and follow it closely. So I, I know from experience that people rarely know even what kind of airplane they're on unless they do look at the card, as you noted. But, uh, yeah, I think there'll probably be some interest. I doubt anybody will get off the airplane. So even because what in, what is fascinating to, fascinating to me is that the comparison is always to previous aircraft that had been grounded because of some sort of flaw that didn't actually result in any fatalities. And yet we are here in this case with an aircraft that actually did result in many fatalities. And you think that the public's memory is that short? Well, I, I, I do. I'm not trying to be critical, but it's a fact. Mm -hmm. uh, issue, of course, is that you couldn't find an airplane that's received more attention and more review for safety than this one anywhere in the world. So if any airplane is going to make it, it's going to be the MAX today. It's just a wonderful airplane. Yeah, you're the head of an airline, and, and I asked Phil this question in terms of the discount. What kind of discount do you think Boeing's given out to, to notch those orders? Um, because orders beget orders, right? Confidence begets confidence in this aircraft, in the industry. Discounts can be in other ways than cash. Obviously, cash is a big one, mm. discount is bigger. But they can give you options for orders at a fixed price. They can do a lot of things, move you up or down in the schedule as you wish, and give you some flexibility to cancel more or less in their order. So a, Boeing has a lot of ways to help a customer make their decision for the Mac a lot. Yeah, good bargaining power for the airlines, that's for sure. Uh, at a, in a difficult time, Gordon, and, and we have some pretty incredible numbers from this weekend. The TSA is screening 1.3 million passengers on Sunday alone. There are a number of days in the past six days, 10 days or so, where the number of passengers screened exceeded 1 million. Um, Phil pointed out earlier that this is a seasonally very strong time to travel. So at what point do you, will you take a look at the numbers and think, you know what, maybe the worst is behind us. We may not be fully recovered in terms of air travel, but the worst is behind us. I think that's the feeling. This is a lot of pent up demand, as probably you are. I'm pent up myself, so I'm ready to go. Uh, as soon as this COVID thing gets under some kind of control, and it looks like it is, it is I think you're going to see a greater, greater number on a daily basis. Just, just the momentum has yet to show itself, but it's, it will be there. Until then, uh, do the airlines continue to cut fares? Well, they'll do whatever is necessary to get that load factor up. As you mentioned, it was half full going up to New York and full coming back. But, I mean, it's all a question of demand, and they'll restrict availability to get the load factors they need to be profitable. I'm not sure that you're going to see a drop further than it is today. It's been quite a significant drop, as you know. And I think it's kind of reversed now and coming back the other way slowly, albeit, but definitely coming back. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.